Now we've seen solving systems of linear equations by graphing and by addition, subtraction, or what's called elimination, where we eliminate one of the variables first. Um, there's a third method called the method of substitution. This one works really well, especially if one of your equations is already solved for one of the variables, because then it's not a lot of work for you. Here's how this method goes. You got y equals 2x minus 1 as one of the equations. And what you'll do is, because the two equations are supposed to be true at the same time, since the second equation tells you y is the same as 2x minus 1, go back into the first equation, and you can replace the variable y with the quantity 2x minus 1. So step one will be to substitute, oops, I wrote that wrong, <laughs> substitute equation two into equation number one. So I've got three x minus two y, but instead of y, I'm going to write the equivalent equation or expression 2x minus 1. So 3x minus 2y equals negative 5. And now notice I no longer have two variables. Now I just have one variable, x, which I can solve for. Let's do that. Simplifying, you get minus 4x plus 2 equals negative 5. Combining 3x minus 4x gives me negative x plus 2 equals negative 5. Let's subtract 2 from both sides. You get negative x equals negative 7. Divide both sides by negative 1. x is 7. Okay, so that gives me the x coordinate. And now, just with the elimination method, let's go ahead and plug this into one of the two equations. It really doesn't matter. So step number two is plug the solution that you got from that first step back into either equation and solve for the other variable. So I'll choose the second equation, y equals 2x minus 1. I'll plug 7 in for x y equals 2 times 7 minus 1. That's 14 minus 1, or 13. So now I know what my solution is. The x-coordinate is 7, the y-coordinate is 13.